Welcome to Beginner Web Design episode 20 and in this video we're going to be taking a look at finally editing some of the elements on our page with JavaScript and we're really only going to be editing this CSS in this episode and you'll probably be able to see just how much you can achieve with using JavaScript incorporated with CSS. So I've put together a little example page for you and this page is selling you keyboards. So this example model here is a wireless keyboard and I have a, a short snippet of text saying this product lets you connect your keyboard whatever and I also have a little bit more text down here but I don't want this text to be visible by default I want it to only be visible when someone requests to click on this more product info so basically what we're going to be achieving in this episode is hiding this first and then calling it back in when we click on more product info now initially what some people think that we have to do to achieve this is completely remove this paragraph from the HTML and then re-edit in. But that's not what we have to do because in CSS we have a nice little property called display. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it once or twice before but display can let you hide an element or set it to a block or an inline element. So we're going to be using that to put it on our page and take it off. So the HTML for this page is really straightforward. I have a header, wireless keyboard, I have two paragraphs, and a button. And you can see that I have a little bit more markup here. So first of all, for the second paragraph, I've assigned an ID for it. And that ID is going to allow us to target it with JavaScript. If you use a class name, you can target it with CSS, but not so much with JavaScript. So an ID is the way to go right now. And for the button, I just have a simple function being called whenever we click on it. We've gone over that in the past, uh, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop open style.css and say hashtag main info and set this to display none. And what that's going to do is take that right off our page. I could use the right ID, more info. There we go, off our page. And the second thing is we're going to start defining what that function is. So we're going to type open, oh sorry, function, open info. And inside here, we're going to start with the word document. And document is pretty much just the page. And we need to say document because uh, the browser needs to know that we're going to be targeting a specific HTML element on that page. So to figure out which element we want to target, we're going to say get element by ID. And I have it right here in my little Coda pop-up menu. And uh, make sure you correct the uh, capitalization on that. It's lowercase g, capital E in element, capital by, and capital ID. Uh, no D in that capital ID. And inside here, we want to use quotes just because we're typing a string directly into here. And we're going to make this more info. So it's telling the JavaScript right now to go into the document and pull out the element with the ID more info. We're going to use another dot and we're going to type style. And style is just a static keyword. It just says, you know, we're going to be referencing some part of the CSS of this element. One more dot and we're going to type in display. Now you can type any CSS property here that you'd like. Most of them are the same as uh, the CSS properties. There are a little bit of difference. So for example, if you have background dash image, to convert that into its JavaScript equivalent, you would use background no dash but capital I in image. So you would just substitute that. So you can say style dot background image if you'd like. But for this example, we're going to keep using display just because we've already set that to none in our CSS. And then we're going to type an equal sign and set this to block. 
obviously if you were making a an anchor link or a span or something like that show you would use style dot display equals inline because that's an inline element and not a block element that's all we have to do you can see now if we click on this button the uh, little snippet of text shows up really really simple to do now I've put together sort of a similar example here so now I have three different buttons up here one for wired keyboard info info wireless keyboard info and magic keyboard info and I have three little snippets of text one for each of them and uh, we're basically going to be doing the same exact thing uh, we want all of these to be hidden at first and uh, whenever we click on one of these the correct information shows up and only one of these snippets of text is visible at one time so to do this it's still pretty simple the first thing I want to do is hide them all and you can see I have three unique IDs wired wireless and magic so I can just replace my more info with wired wireless magic and they're all gone now the next thing is I have the same function for each of the buttons just with a different variable inside of them so I'm going to have to edit our function a little bit I'm gonna clear this for now and I'm gonna open info but I'm also gonna put a little variable in here so I'm gonna make this maybe uh, ID just lowercase ID and so now what I'm gonna do it's pretty easy to do in the way I've set it up so you can see that the three IDs of the paragraphs match with the function variables so, you, so for example for wired keyboard info the paragraph ID is wired and the variable inside the function is also wired so all we have to do is say document dot get element by ID and instead of typing a string in here we're just going to use that ID variable that we have set up up here and say style dot display is a block and that's pretty much it so now you can see whatever one we click shows up in that order now the only thing here is that I said I wanted to have only one of these showing at any given time now we have it so that all three of them could be showing at the same time so all we have to do is insert a little JavaScript magic so we can just say whenever we click this first clear all three of those so first set all three of them to none so I'm gonna make it get element by ID let's see magic and wired and wireless so we're setting all three paragraphs to display none and then we're only setting block on the one that we selected so wireless shows up magic shows up wired shows up it works now I know it might be a little confusing right now just because I'm throwing all this information at you uh, but feel free to experiment with some of this code until you get really ready to play around a little bit more and in the next episode we'll continue looking at editing the HTML of a page via JavaScript